welcome everybody hello uh, to another class of science wednesday so we uh, saw in the last class how viruses work how they reproduce what do we already know we know how viruses replicate first they enter a cell inside the cell it can make copies of itself finally all the copies leave and the cell dies some viruses hide their genetic material inside the cell, waiting for the right moment to duplicate. Actually, we already know quite a lot about viruses, and we also know that we don't know about them for such a long time yet, but when did they appear? Like, do we know something about this? Well, actually, we do not know when they appear or how they appear for the first time. Some scientists think they appear before cells, some scientists think they appear after cells and they are a piece of RNA that escaped from a bacteria. But up to the date, it still remains a mystery. So I can actually not answer that question. Okay. But what we do know pretty well, actually, is how they change over time. So we don't know when they started changing, but we know how they change. So what about, Elska, if we see now the different ways that viruses have to adapt and mutate and get fitter to infect their victims. Yeah, sounds good. Viruses with RNA. When making copies of RNA, the cell sometimes makes errors. These mistakes can produce mutation in the virus that can be positive for the virus, like in this case, when the virus is ready for winter, or sometimes can be negative. A case of viruses of this type is HIV. Viruses with DNA. Making mistakes when copying DNA is not so common because the cell has a mechanism to check if everything is good. Mutations still happen with this kind of viruses, but slower than with RNA. The virus of the flu. Sometimes two different but similar viruses enter a cell at the same time. When they duplicate, parts of their genetic material got mixed and the results are new viruses that are a mixture of the two original ones. Alright, so we saw that viruses change really fast, uh -huh. but if viruses change really fast to be able to infect us, why doesn't our body change very fast <laughs> to be able to protect ourselves? Well, our bodies, the bodies of humans or animals, they change over time as the viruses do. The problem is this, that this change requires generations. You can, as a person, not change, but your children, your great-children, your great-great-children eventually will go changing. The difference among us and a virus is that for us this takes centuries, while a virus can meet their great-great-great-children within hours. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So a change that for us would take a lot of years, a virus can do in some days. What did we learn today? How do viruses mutate? Errors can happen in the transcription. This can lead to mutations that are positive or to mutations that are negative. In viruses with RNA, these mutations can happen very fast. In viruses with DNA, these mutations happen slower. If two similar viruses enter a cell at the same time, when they duplicate, they can produce a new virus that is a mix of them both. So, all right. I think we're finished for today. Yeah, that was all. I hope you enjoyed. We hope you enjoyed. We do. <laughs> and we will expect you in the next video. Yes. Bye bye. bye.